Okay, hi guys, welcome back to my name Jordan's YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make two different types of fiber balls. Well, they're actually the same, just the clip in the back is going to be different. Now, um, I did add the small clip um, video at the end of the video. Um, I wasn't going to do one, but how I explained it um, was a little bit hard, so I decided just to do one and show you. So that one will be in the end. So you are going to see one regular one like this, and then this would be the bigger clip. This is going to be the first video. The first half is going to be with this bow, and then the second half is the exact same bow, but the clip is a much smaller one. This would be better for the toddlers um, or the smaller ones. Um, this you could also clip onto headbands for the babies, um, and it would be better for this one. And this one's more um, my daughter's vibe, so this is the one I use for her, the bigger clip. So um, continue watching so you guys can learn how to make the fiber bows. Okay, so we're going to start. Now we are going to start with two pieces. This is going to be one this size, and this one is going to be a. I have the measurements here. This is the main bow piece. It is a nine and a half by eleven. Then we have the middle piece that we're going to use, and that one is a four and a half by five and a half. So. These are going to be our two main pieces that we're going to work with, okay? So, we're going to turn them around. We're going to do pattern to the bottom, okay? And then here we're going to start gluing to start making our bow already. So, we're going to do three dots, one in each beginning and in the middle. So, it'll be one... Oops, my extra glue stick. Three. And just fold it up. So this is how it'll be. You didn't do the same three dots again. And this is what you'll end up with. Okay, so now we're going to do a dot on top, dot bottom. And we're going to swing it over into the middle as well. And we're going to do top, dot, top, dot, bottom with the glue. But this time for this other side, we're going to fold this in just slightly. Just a little bit. And then we're going to fold it over. So it's going to be like this. And this is the front. So we're going to put that piece aside. I'm going to work with this one, which is our middle. And I'm still going to fold this in half. And cut it to the middle. And so we're just going to work it with this one piece. We're going to fold the one down. Glue one dot top, one dot bottom. And we're going to do the same, fold this all the way over, and so it could end up like this. Okay, so we're just going to glue top, glue bottom. So this is what you end up with. Okay. So we're gonna go back to our mom, our main, sorry, our main bow piece, and we're gonna do the fold. So the fold is gonna be like an accordion. So we'll fold in, out, in, out, in, out, and so it's gonna end up like this. Fold like an accordion. Now I couldn't really fold it correctly. I was trying to show you some, but I just folded here by myself. Of course, the tighter you do the folds, the, the, the bow would look better. The less fold you do, it will look a little more open. Here it looks neater. So now I'm going to go in with my middle. 
and I'm gonna glue the front right here. I'm gonna put some glue to start holding the middle piece. So just glue it there. And we're gonna fold it around. And so you're just flipping it around, then you're gonna tuck this under the main part. So it's gonna be like this. See, you use this. Now you're gonna cut this excess just very, very little. Um, about like that much. It's like an inch, I don't know if you can see there. So it's like this much, about an inch. And then this, the top part that you have loose, we're gonna fold it in to get the clean cut. Oh, it's hard for me to fold it with my nails. And so then we're going to fold it here. And then we're just going to glue it down onto the finished middle part. And so that's how it's going to look. And the reason why we fold the loose part inwards is it look clean like that. So you don't see all the excess ribbon or bow or anything like that. Make sure that your middle piece is in the middle. And so you see this excess string here, you could just cut that. There you go. So this would be your front. Now you go in with your alligator clip. Now the alligator clip, you can find it downtown. And they are around, I think they're like 24 cents each. Downtown, if you're local in the Valley area, they're in McAllen, downtown. The store called LA Imports. They're around 24 cents each. If not, you could also buy them on Amazon. Or if you don't want to go downtown, you could buy them on Amazon as well. They have them on eBay. And there's also just some bow groups you could join on Facebook. Um, and there's girls who sell these. Um, and you could buy them from them also. So now, I'm just going to put some... In the back, we're just going to put some glue here in the middle. We're going to put enough glue to hold the clip. And we're just going to push that down to make sure that the clip stays sturdy. So now you're going to have this like loose down here. See? And you're just going to put some glue on both sides and then push it onto the bow again. So let me do that here. Two more. So I kind of made mine to the side. I'm just fixing the middle here so it can go back. This is on the side. So here you go. And this is the clip. And you see both edges are clipped, glued onto the bow already. So this is how the bow comes out. Now for the clip, you could use a smaller clip. I know this clip is pretty big. Um, my daughter's five, so that's why I use the bigger clips to hold into her hair. Um, better because the smaller ones don't really work as well anymore but I'll go ahead and clip it into my hair so you can see how it does look and I will show you so this is the bow Listen to the hair and I'll just there you go okay so I'm going to show you how to do it with a smaller clip now this is the second bow um, I just made everything real fast off camera again and um, I just have the middle loose here's a smaller clip these are as well at the LA imports for 12 cents and they do sell them on Amazon as well so the difference on how to glue on the little one 
is I'm gonna glue it under here. So I'm going to actually put the flat underneath and put the small, the skinny part is gonna be, is gonna end up on top, so it's gonna look like this. Okay. So we are going to glue this to the middle. Okay. I'm gonna cut off a little bit so I could put this nicely. Sorry, I cut it a little bit too short. So now it's going to be glued in like that. Are expecting Now I'm just going to glue this onto the bow, this part sticking up, and this little part sticking up also. This is the front of it. Here's the front of the other one. See this one we glued it on top and this one we glued it underneath. So let me just do the edges on top. Okay. So there it is. It is now glue. So this is the same. It also clips in the same. So that's two ways to do it in the back of the clips. Now, if you do want to glue your bow onto a headband, they do sell the headbands on Amazon, the real skinny nylon ones. Um, and it's really cheap, I think it's like 24 for six dollars something of that sort and then you just go ahead and you instead of in the in the middle instead of doing the clip you're gonna do the exact same thing as how we clip this smaller one but instead of putting the clip in the middle you're gonna put the headband in the middle and then you're gonna put the fabric over the headband so the fabric the headband's gonna go in to this middle piece and then you're gonna just glue it how you normally do and then you'll have your bow so.